Good evening, church. We're in the middle of Holy Week where we go through the days and the moments with Jesus. Uh, Thursday is a busy day, and you'll experience that tonight. I'm thankful for the board who created the service that we used actually last Monday, Thursday, that we are going to use again tonight. It is effective and good for us to revisit it. You will see Rhonda Rausch reading in it. One of our board members who had a motorcycle accident is still recovering uh, from that accident. Um, and we're thankful to see her face and her smile. As you go through this service tonight, be present. Tonight, tomorrow night, the next night, to be ready for Easter. I want to share with you before we begin this devotion that was posted by our denomination. Light a candle. This is the night. You ate again with those you would have avoided and that you only know because Jesus invited you on this journey together. You're nervous in this city that tried to stone you. You eat and he asks you to remember him each time you gather and eat together. Then, like the woman who anointed his feet, Jesus did what she did. Love leaned down before you and washed from your feet the dust of the day, dried your feet, and cautioned that if you can't receive, you will miss love altogether. Peter resists, then receives. Then, to be sure you got it, Jesus calls it a commandment. You do the same. Love as I have loved you. You watch him. Take the three and go to pray. You only wake as Judas returns, kisses Jesus, and the soldiers bind Jesus and take him away. You're lost. You can hardly breathe. This is the night. The night in which the one through whom you most felt God's presence, the one through whom you most felt God's love, the one through whom you most felt God's blessing is taken away, gone. Snuff the candle. Remember, receive, breathe, wait. This night is called Monday Thursday. Monday Thursday comes from the Latin for mandate or law, because Jesus gave us a new commandment this last night with the disciples. A reading from Luke chapter 22, verse 13 through 21. So they went and found everything as Jesus had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at the table with the apostles. He said, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus took a cup and after giving thanks said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the supper, Jesus took the cup and gave thanks and said, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. John 13, verses 1 through 10a. Now before the festival of the Passover, 
Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to God. Having loved his own who were in the world, Jesus loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then Jesus poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know that I what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said unto him, You will never wash my feet, Jesus answered. Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. Let us wash feet together on our knees. Let us wash feet together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Our third reading comes from John 13, verses 31 through 35. When Judas had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Chosen One has been glorified, and God has been glorified through the Chosen One. If God has been glorified in the Chosen One, God will also glorify the Chosen One at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Let us love all like Jesus on our knees. Let us love all like Jesus on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Matthew 26, 31-35 Then Jesus said, You will all become deserters because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Though all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Let us hold fast to Jesus on our knees. Let us hold fast to Jesus on our knees. 
When I fall on my knees With my face to the rising sun O Lord, have mercy on me Matthew 26, verses 36 through 41. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to the disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. Jesus took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little further, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My God, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, So, could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, 42 through 46. Again, Jesus went away for the second time and prayed, My God, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Let us stay awake with Jesus by his side. Let us stay awake with Jesus by his side. When I stay awake with Jesus, I will see the sun rising. O oh, Lord, have mercy on me. John chapter 18, verses 3 through 12. So Judas brought a detachment of soldiers together with police from the chief priests and the Pharisees. And they came there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to happen, came forward and asked them, Whom are you looking for? They answered, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus replied, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When Jesus said to them, I am he, they stepped back and fell to the ground. Again he asked them, Whom are you looking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you are looking for me, let these men go. This was to fulfill the word that he had spoken. I did not lose a single one of those whom you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it, struck the high priest's slave, and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword back into its sheath. Am I not to drink the cup that God has given me? So the soldiers, their officer, and the Jewish police arrested Jesus and bound him. Let us praise God together on our knees. Let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my 
my face to the rising sun. O Lord, have mercy on me. This night, Jesus is removed from among us. It begins our walk waiting for what is yet to be, but not yet. May we depart in silence.